former chairperson of the Association of Member Episcopal Conferences in Eastern Africa, and Isaiah, His Grace the Most Reverend Joseph Atlebulu, has urged the Catholic Church in the region to embrace the Catholic charismatic renewal. Lebulu, who is the Bishop Emeritus of the Diocese of Arusha in Tanzania, made the sentiments on the sidelines of the just-ended International Easter Conference, which was organized for young people who are under the movement. From Arusha, this is Bernard Manza. Archbishop Joseph Art Lebulu says the church itself is charismatic as it was started by the Holy Spirit, who is the patron of the movement. He says failing to recognize the Catholic charismatic renewal in dioceses, parishes, and all church levels is as good as being against the church itself. The 85-year-old archbishop, who is also a devoted member of the movement, attended the conference for three days where he among others delivered a spiritual teaching on wednesday then led the way of the cross on the good friday and celebrated the closing mass on sunday how can i one who is part and parcel of this church an essential component of this church not appreciate charismatic <laughs> church the charismatic church in which i am it's only <laughs> overlooking and I think if I'm to advise anybody I'll just say let us go to the origin and see the teaching of the church and that's it. The young people who patronized the conference were drawn mainly from different institutions of higher learning here in Tanzania under the banner Intercollege Catholic Charismatic Renewal, ICCR. The movement's national coordinator here in Tanzania concurs with the Archbishop Leiburu saying the movement is crucial in the promotion of spiritual warfare of the Christians. What I really love to see is see Africa is on fire, all universities and colleges. For me, if you have graduated from university, whether in medicine, you're a medical doctor, you are a, a teacher, these are the people who go across the country to work. Now imagine if these people are on fire. It means in the next 10 years, if we invest in university and colleges, the whole Africa will be on fire because when these guys go to the remote areas to be maybe a school teacher somewhere, to be a medical doctor somewhere, if there is no renewal there, they will do something. Malawi's Youth Ministry representative at the conference, Noah Kumwenda, who is the national coordinator, has expressed satisfaction with the program, saying they have learned more things that, when implemented in Malawi, the status of the movement will change. When we are here, we see that people that were well educated, well, doing well in business, others are very studying with, uh, on higher degrees, they are here. So, for Catholic Asmatic Renewal in Malawi, it will help us to change the mindset of people, of the young ones, that um, prayer, living a life full of charism, is not for the people, the underprivileged. It is for everyone else to, uh, to live. It's, it's our way of life. The conference has been held from 25th to 31st of March 2024 at Tengeru Institute of Community Development in Arusha. I'm enjoying, I see reality of God. I see the importance of being close to my God. Among others, the conference offered seminars in vocations, courtship and relationships, and another one for the married young people, mentoring them on how to live in more spiritual and successful marriages. For Lunta News in Arusha, Tanzania, this is Brennan Manza.